One of the ugliest parts of our industrial food system and industrial agricultural system is how any hope for minority communities to be smallholder farmers or to have access to fresh, nutritious food in the cities has been undermined over and over and over from the very beginning of our country. The initiatives right now to fix that are laughably inadequate. We're barely at the point where we're recognizing the problems that we created intentionally and the barriers we put in place. The likelihood of a struggling family in Detroit or any inner city neighborhood having access to healthy, nutritious food at an affordable price is so low that it's not even expected anymore. And what happens when we don't have nutrition for kids, when we don't have prenatal nutrition? All sorts of other confounding, permanent, chronic problems are put in place. Again, we can pay now and fix that problem, or we can pay later and support populations and try to fix diseases and social ills that should have been avoided in the first place. When we think about this complex dynamic system of our food and agriculture system, that has to be front and center, including everybody, so that everybody is well-fed, well-nourished, and participates in the economy of the food system so that everyone is benefiting, not just being given the scraps or the leftovers or the highly processed unsold food that nobody else wants.